Hello everyone, Miss Debbie here, enjoying this beautiful day outside, probably like you are. I'm coming to you today in a boat on Diamond Lake. And I'm coming to you to talk to you about following Jesus as the leader. Now last week, I had asked you to practice following the leadership of your parents. How did you do with that? Did it go okay? Remember, the Lord gives us our parents who we can see to help us follow Jesus who we can't see. So remember, start with following the lead of your parents and then you'll understand how to follow Jesus as the leader. And speaking of that, Jesus is the best leader ever. And some of Jesus' first friends were fishermen and probably spent some time out on the water like this. And Jesus said to them, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So when Jesus said to them, come and follow me, it's what we've been talking about. He said, let me in your life. Let me be the forgiver and leader of your life. Let him get in our boat, so to speak, your boat, and let him be the leader in our life. And that is very special because Jesus is the best leader ever. And no matter what the situation is in the world or in the lake like here, whether it's calm or stormy, Jesus will always be the peace, the hope, and the love inside us. He's the peace in us. And he also said to his first friends, come and follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So let's talk about fishing. When we go fishing, we usually have some kind of yummy bait that we use to draw the fish to that bait. They swim towards it and they move towards it. Now that's how it is with us as Jesus and as Christians. It's kind of like we're the yummy bait. We're full of peace, hope, and love, and that that is something people notice. They say things like, well, why aren't you afraid of this virus? Or how do you love people who are mean to you? Or how do you have hope when this world is a crazy place? See, that bait, that faith, hope, and love, and peace in us draws people who don't know Jesus to him. So as we end today, I want to ask you a couple questions. Is your family seeing and hearing Christ in you? Are your neighbors hearing and seeing Christ in you? Remember that when we come and follow Jesus, he tells us he will make us fishers of men, boys, and girls. So remember that today as we're out on the water, Jesus wants you to come to him and then be a beautiful reflection of who he is so people come and see Christ. Now, as we close, let's pray for our kindergartners. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you call us to come to you and that you love us. And we pray for all the mountain movers and their families today, but specifically we pray for our five-year-olds and our kindergartners. Macy, Remington, Bennett, Kenley, Natalia, Abigail, Noah, Marley, Tenley, Joshua, Bradley, Griffin, Eddie, Naomi, Jillian, Chase, Charlie, Carly, Piper, Nolan, Waylon, Maverick, Evelyn, and Brooks. Lord, thank you for them. There are a lot of them out there, and we know that today that you are loving them and drawing them to yourself and then living out of them so that people can see the hope and the peace and the love of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.